music can give voice to things that, that sometimes we don't even have words for. And there's just something about the way that Aaron Kernis has constructed this piece. And what I realized he did with the arc of this piece is he really portrayed almost the stages of grief. And that's why I think it's such a special piece because you begin almost in that state of numbness. It's very, very still. It's very um, uh, almost emotionally paralyzed. And carrying us through almost the awakening of emotion and processing and leading us to this gorgeous sort of top of the arc, which is a kind of a mixture of passion and almost rage. It's strident uh, when you reach the climax of the piece. And that to me, you know, is what great music should do without even knowing it. It leads you through these emotional centers that express the, the you know, the arc of the experience that the composer has in mind, and um, I, I particularly love the way he finishes the piece, which is like a profound uh, resting in peace, not only for those lost, but for uh, the loved ones of those lost, because I think that you know when you seek solace through music um, after a loss, uh, you know, not only is it a tribute um, to those we, we loved and lost, but it's, it, it's for us. And, you know, I really do feel like this work is, is, has the potential to become the new Barbara Adagio for moments of, of um, pain and grief and seeking peace through that, because it's, it's just a, a stunning, stunning work.